I'm going to talk about structural deficit. Earlier this year, in, in February, the governor uh, gave us his lecture, which was supposed to be a budget address. And, and in that lecture, he stressed the importance of the structural deficit. He called it a ticking time bomb, a ticking time bomb of $1.8 billion that was going to explode and cause catastrophic problems for Pennsylvania. The truth of the matter is, in the IFO reported just in our last appropriations here in the last three weeks, that our structural deficit was $4 billion in 2010. Four billion. We're down to $1.8 billion now. So we've been dealing with the structural deficit for the last four budgets with no broad based tax increases. The governor's using it as an excuse to have broad based tax increases. So if this is a ticking time bomb, if this $1.8 billion is a ticking time bomb, it is a very long wick and it's burning very slow. He, he used the word, he used the term simple math. Simple math. I need to increase taxes to cover the structural deficit. It's simple math. Now, I did not go to MIT. I, I, like Jason, went to Robert Morris College. And simple math to me at Robert Morris just tells me that in order to address a $1.8 billion structural deficit, you don't need to raise taxes by $4 billion in spending by a like amount. That's simple math to me. As, as uh, we stand here in a business, there's a lot of different ways we can deal with the structural deficit. And, and the governor's taking the easy answer. He's taking the very, the easiest way to deal with the structural deficit is, let's just tax. Let's just tax these people. Let's just generate those revenues of tax. That's the easy answer. The, the real answer in how to deal with the structural deficit is, is, to, is to increase the economy, have economic growth, take care of businesses like this one here. Through economic growth, if 2% of economic growth generates an additional $600 million of revenue for us. So it, to me, it's very counterintuitive to raise taxes, which will stun economic growth. So we are certainly going to try and take a different path. So thank you.